Hello and welcome. It's Monday and we are back for the MLB Prop Show presented by Prop AI. It is the tool that we use to pick all of our props. I'm going to be showing you that today on uh, the good old LineStar app website. You can access the uh, Prop AI and everything we do on both apps and website. As you can tell, I am without Shannon today, but I am Tyler Weeman and I'm going to be taking you through our props of the day. As always, we are going to have two main picks. If both of those hit, one lucky winner will win $50. Now, let's uh, jump into the good old slate and look at our props for today. Uh, after the props, we will also do our home run calls. I have my pick. I also have Shannon's, and I will be going over both of them. But first, we got the props. All right, so our two main picks for today are going to be Eric Fetty over 4.5 strikeouts and Ben Lively under 17.5 outs. Those are my two favorite plays of the day. Uh, I will also cover Tanner Huck over 5.5 and Ben Lively under 4.5 strikeouts. But let's get into those uh, first two picks to start it out. First, we got Eric Fetty, 4.5 Ks. Uh, our Lion Star project projection, 4.8. The consensus is 4.8. This is at minus 110 in sports books. And on prize picks or underdog, you know, it's even money as expected here. We got a nice uh, alert score for it for profit. Got a 7% edge on our projection. But as I dug into this, this guy has been pitching extremely well lately. 2.7 or 6.1 FIP over his last five starts. He has a 2.6 ERA on the season. He has 50 Ks in 52 innings. He has a 25% strikeout uh, rate over the last five starts. Meanwhile, he has a good umpire for K's and Carolina or Carolina Toronto is striking out at 21.6%. Now you might be a little concerned here because over the last 20 starts, his K rate is 17.8%, but I dug into that a little bit and he has changed his pit, pitch mix. Absolutely. He dropped the use of a four seamer and a change up. Uh, improved his cutter and his sinker. Both of those have a whiff rate of north of 24%. So they are very solid pitches that are getting a lot of swings and misses. You add to all that, his velo is uh, also up a little bit and he is just a different pitcher right now. He's pitching well and I think he goes over four and a half uh, Ks today. Now, Moving on to uh, Ben Lively. So Ben Lively under 17 and a half uh, outs. Our line star projection, 13.2. Consensus, 15.8. You can get this at minus 125 in, uh, on sports books. It is available on underdog on prize picks, but it's at 17 outs instead of 17.5. I still like 17 outs. It is a bummer if he pushes, but I think most likely uh, he works five innings and is out of the game. So this is the thing. His ERA over the last uh, five games is only three, but FIP is way higher. His FIP over the last 20, 5.42. Now this is a guy that hasn't really gotten much better in his pitching than the year prior. Uh, his line drive rate, 30%. Fly ball rate, 43%. He's given up only, almost 35% hard contact, ton of barrel ball, high average X velocity, and he's versus a good offense in Cleveland. I don't like, or sorry, uh, in the New York Mets, I don't love picking on uh, the Mets in this spot who, you know, their opponent splits actually look pretty solid over the last 20 games hitting 252 have a decent amount of home runs have a decent amount of stolen bases of which lively has been bad giving up 11 stolen bases three over the last five uh and he's just simply allowing a lot of runs over 300 woba 150 iso i don't love the spot for ben lively here against the mets so ben lively under 
uh, 17.5. And if you see, he has only gone over twice this year. So he's been under in four of six. I will take that all day long. Now our bonus props. So we got uh, Tanner Huck over 5.5 Ks, minus 125 in sports sports books. And yes, he's been pitching way better, 22% K rate over his last five, but his K rate on the season is more like 25%. Uh, and he's versus the Rays, who he is striking them out at a 34% clip in 53 outings. So that's, you know, two, three, uh, appearances versus him they're they're striking out a ton and the thing is he is away he is in tampa bay he is striking out 9.8 k's per nine away versus 8.2 at home so i like the spot for a couple more strikeouts when he's away versus at home so let's go over 5.5 and then lastly the fade of ben lively is back simply put mets don't strike out a ton uh, 19.7% K rate, uh, for the opponent team splits in this situation, but over the last 24 plate attempts versus them, they're only striking out at 8.3 versus him. Total is a combined 20.3% K rate. And I think Lively is going to have a hard time with a 20.3% combined K rate to get over four and a half today. So I think we have to slam that under. It's available on Underdog, available on DraftKings at minus 105. So those are our props. Now, once again, our two main props for today, Eric Fetty, over 4.5 strikeouts and Ben Lively under 17.5 17.5 outs next it is time to get over to the home run calls so we're going to go over to the dinger report so this gives us an opportunity to actually show it on the website a little bit and how great this dinger report is so i will start with shannon's home run of the day gunner henderson this guy has been absolutely unbelievable this year. He already has 15 home runs on the year, an ISO of 328 this season, and he's going against Sonny Gray, who is a very, very good pitcher. But Sonner, Sonny, or Gunner Henderson is a top 5% hitter versus right-handed pitching. We got really warm weather. The winds are blowing uh, slightly out. And... The stat cast data, Sonny's been great. However, Gunnar Henderson, 44% hard contact. The guy is hot. He's crushing the ball right now, has nine home runs in the month, has three home runs in the last week. And Shannon thinks he gets another tonight where he we have him at a 20.7% uh, home run chance, which is just in line with uh, good old Vegas. He's also hitting Sonny Gray decently. So I like the spot for Gunnar Henderson. Now, where I am going to go, I am going to go to William Contreras to hit a home run off Ryan Weathers. We have him at a 17.6% home run chance. Vegas has him at a 15.8% chance. So we got a little bit of a value, 1.8% value there. And Ryan Weathers has been better this year. Not going to lie. However, He's only allowing 1.1 home run per nine this year. Last year, he was up to 2.1. For his career, he was at 1.7. The situation that I see here, however, is that his hard hit rate is actually up this year. It's up 2%. Now, his ground ball rate is up, which is probably part of the reason why he hasn't had as many home runs. But I do believe that he's going to see some regression up to his norm. You know, maybe he doesn't get up to 2.1 like he was last year. Maybe he's at 1.5. Regardless, I love this spot for William Contreras, who is just crushing lefties. 387 average versus lefties over the last 150 games. 285 ISO in that situation. Hitting a home run in 5.7% plate attempts. And I think he goes yard again. The guy is hot. He's hitting 417 versus lefties in the last uh, 20 games with a 250 ISO. I love the spot versus Weathers, who is allowing almost a 200 uh, 
ISO. So it's a great spot for William Contreras to go yard and uh, give someone some money. Now, if you are not familiar with this, we do tweet out our home run calls on Twitter or on X, whatever you want to call it these days. And if you retweet that, if you like it, you can win 20 bucks if one of us gets our home run call. Uh, Ryan Humphreys will also be tweeting or sending us our home run call for him. So you get three chances to win 20 bucks. One person uh, gets it. One lucky winner will win money. Now, I just got to shout out the Padres. Big win yesterday. I love it. I'm sorry, Ryan. I know you were at the game. You sent me a nice video message afterwards or during. Uh, but go Padres. And now let's also hit all our prop bets. Good luck, guys. We will see you tomorrow where Shannon will be back with me. Have a good one. Adios.